This is the Samsung Notebook 7 Spin. And I would just like to do a brief review. I'm doing this with one hand, so you're going to have to excuse me if I come out of the screen a little bit. But, so, without further ado, let's get into this. The first thing I would like to mention is that this is touchscreen. Now, let's see. Okay, well, you can see I did a little something there. But it's touchscreen. With most laptops these days, they're touchscreen. So this is not only touchscreen, but it also has, let's look at this feature here. You see that? Tablet mode. So I can put this into tablet mode. So everything will show up. You see that? That's touchscreen. Everything will show up like it would as if it was a tablet. You know, a lot of apps and so forth. Uh, another thing I would like to mention is this has the Intel Core i7 now from what I hear i7s are pretty good you can do gaming with the Intel Core i5 so the i7 should be pretty good um, also another nice feature on this is the Wi-Fi transfer the Wi-Fi transfer is pretty good on there I like the Wi-Fi transfer because I can transfer information from my phone or my tablet straight to the computer without hooking up cables without going into any web accounts or any of that I can transfer it straight to there now Unfortunately, because I'm filming this with my phone, I can't show you the Wi-Fi transfer, but it's pretty good. Also, this screen flips all the way around. Okay, I'm out of the screen a little bit, but there you go. Look, it flips all the way around. That's really nice. I like that. Um, and this is a really thin computer. It's really sleek, really thin. See that? Nice and thin. It's metal on the top. And this is like some type of rubbery plastic here at the bottom. It's really nice. Now, I showed you the thickness of it. You see how thin it is? Now, if you pay attention to looking at this thinness of it, you will notice that something is missing. And that is this guy. A DVD drive. So they don't make laptops with DVD drives built in anymore. So I'm not a tech junkie, a gadget junkie. I'm not that. I used to be that type of person. I'm not that anymore. I haven't had a laptop or I haven't bought, and bought a laptop. Bought and, that's not a word. I haven't bought a laptop in seven years. I never thought I would be using a laptop again because... I bought a tablet so like I said I'm not really into all of the ins and outs of these things anymore I don't really care but I needed a laptop see Samsung let's see if I can get that in there notebook 7 spin I don't know if this is the 17 version or the 18 version I know I'm out of focus a lot you know this is a pretty horrible video I hope you watch it anyway though but yeah I don't know if this is the 17 or the 18 I bought it in 18 so hey whatever but uh but on the box it said December of 2017 so this may be the 2017 version but the other videos that I saw about this the keypad setup was different and I'm not talking about the pro I'm not talking about the 9 the notebook 9 and the notebook pen I'm not talking about that I'm talking about Samsung notebook 7 spin the keypad layout was different oh and since we're talking about the keypad layout there's something else about this keypad you can't see it now but it actually is backlit let's turn out all these lights so you can see that so let me pause this right quick and I'm gonna uh, turn out the light so you can see that it's backlit Okay, as I said, look at that. It's backlit. Oof, looks like Vegas or something. 
But yeah, that's pretty nice. I like that. Because usually what I have to do is when I'm recording and it's dark, I can't see what I'm doing. So I either got to pull my screen down like this so I can see or go turn on the lights. But then I have a backlit laptop. Like the, the keypad is backlit, I mean. So yeah, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. But well, like I said, this is just brief. I may go in depth soon once I learn this thing pretty well. And I hope you like, share, subscribe. So, once again, this is the Samsung Notebook 7 Spin.